please join me, Brian Forster, at Contact in the Desert, June 1st, uh, 1st to 4th, 2018. There I'll be discussing the elongated skulls of Peru and Bolivia, as well as focusing on the mysterious Paracas elongated skulls that seem to be related to those found near the Black Sea. Now this is Senior Juan Navarro, and he's holding a 20-month-old red-headed Paracas. Most of you are acquainted with the Akhenaten sculptures showing elongated heads, but in reality, Tutankhamun's skull was elongated, but not so extreme as shown in the sculptures. However, near Pumapunku in Bolivia, there are elongated skulls like this, as well as other mysterious ones near Cusco, like this one called Waiki. Now the Paracas are of uh, particular interest because of the massive size of the skulls. Here we see a classic Paracas, which was likely born with that skull shape. When we compare a Paracas with a normal skull on the left, you can see the major differences. Also anatomically, we have these sutures as Homo sapiens sapiens, but the sagittal suture appears to be missing in the Paracas, and medical professionals don't understand why. Also, what's called the foramen magnum is perfectly centered on Homo sapiens sapiens, while with the Paracas, it's as much as 1.5 centimeters farther back. Did you know that many of the Nazca figures and lines were made by the Paracas people and not the Nazca? Here we see the dark red hair, which is genetic of the Paracas elongated skulls. And there are very similar ones found in Crimea and the Black Sea area. And this one is yet to be DNA tested from near Lake Titicaca. Look at the size of the skull. So please join me at Contact in the Desert, June 1st to 4th, 2018, at Indian Wells, California. Here is the link. And also, I'll be giving talks in late May and early June in California, Arizona, and Colorado about the elongated skulls and also lost ancient high technology. And here is the link for those. Thank you.